On the 19th of October at the Hilton, Hilton Hotel Blackpool, the cooperative sponsored a film show on fracking for gas. And most people didn't know anything about it, but they certainly do now. And it brought so many different people from the community to the hotel. It was very busy. A lot of elected members, a lot of um, just ordinary members. The interest was there. Once you explained what fracking meant, oh, they, you wouldn't have kept them away with an armed guard. They were very interested in the evening, and it was an excellent evening. The moratorium that the cooperative group are asking for is important because people in general need to be better informed of this process of extracting gas and the effects it can have. Events like this, I think, do raise people's awareness and do bring people together and allow them to sort of express concerns, but also to get information and to get answers. I think that's the key point. I live in the Bleasdale area, and the Bleasdale area is uh, one where it's funded by um, loads of springs for the farmers' boreholes. Now, we don't have piped water at all, and I understand that the fracking area uh, comes right the way through underneath our lot, right into the Ribble Valley. Yeah, just half a mile from where we live, um, a guy that I know quite well, and he experienced this, this quake and, and the, the tremor and the table shaking and things falling off the table and so on. Ultimately, there's going to be 400 wellheads in the next 10 years and allegedly 800 in a backyard that is much smaller than the backyard that was referred to in the States. I had no idea that the, the amount of devastation that it was causing and the fact that all that now could be coming to Lancashire and happening in our community I think is a really big worry and it's concern that everyone should be concerned about so and I think it's something that Cooperty definitely needs to really push as an issue. The cooperative as a whole spends 70 million a year in supporting community events and this links in well with our work, our, con our concern for the environment and that's why the area committee was only too pleased to support this event. At the World Cafe discussion after the film was shown we had a uh, some interesting people round the table. I think the idea of having tables with a host collecting information and ideas and comments from those uh, around the table is an excellent idea. You get those who perhaps wouldn't normally put their hand up and stand up and shout their question or comment out. Uh, everyone seemed very free and able to speak. We felt comfortable. Um, we were talking about the growers in the area. Um, there are some very big contracts in our area. Um, some of the big supermarkets um, source from our growers. And we were worried about losses um, of those contracts if this area is seen to be not um, clean, perhaps. Environmental costs, the water pollution, the wildlife damage, the air pollution. Um, as the coal price goes down, do emissions go up, the climate change impact, potential for accidents, contamination of the earth, is it worse in populated areas? On the film it was all in very sparsely populated areas, does it make it worse being somewhere like uh, Blackpool? The amount of transport that we saw in the films that was needed just for one well, imagine that many lorry lines coming through the northwest when we can't even accommodate our roads as they are. We don't yet have an adequate regulatory framework in this country. You've seen the result of that in the USA. What I think we ought to be asking for at the very least is a moratorium on further work until such time as we have put a regulatory framework in place. In a nutshell, we would much prefer the investment that this is going to take to go into renewable energy. Progress is necessary, but this is a step too far. That uh, received a big round of applause, which did rather surprise me, but pleased me. And it, to me, it, it showed that the thoughts around my table were shared by everyone. We felt that fracking was a step too far, because it's very damaging to the earth, the, very damaging to the atmosphere, and if it's going to cause earthquakes or tremors, it, it's going to be damaging to people's lives as well. And that is a step too far because we've only one Earth, we've only one environment and we should be caring for it better than the, the constant pursuit for, for more power. Things are constantly changing. Things always have changed and things always will change. 
Um, Charles Darwin said, um, it is not the strongest or the fittest species that survive, it is the ones most capable of change. So we have to change, we cannot rely on extracting fossil fuels to continue life on this planet. People ought to be writing to their MPs now, they should be writing to, their, to the appropriate level of councillor. So for people in Lancashire, that would be to Lancashire County Council, in Blackpool it would be to Blackpool Council, and trying to make their views absolutely clear where they stand on the whole fracking industry, so that those people will take account of that and listen. We've got to really get through this and, and communicate this to the community, because it's going to affect the local community and the whole community and the file, the wire area, Lancashire generally. Uh, to an incredible extent if we allow this to carry on. I mean, it's really frustrating that these things are already happening and we're almost now trying to, trying to play catch-up. There has to be, I think, um, a message to government that we need a moratorium on shale gas exploration at this point. Uh, I think when the serious fracking starts, then it's too late. I think generally it's the start of a, of a communication exercise where we all understand exactly what's involved and what it will mean for, for business across, the West, uh, across West Lancashire. Growing is an important part of the economy actually, it supports an enormous number of jobs in West Lancashire and it's where a large number of businesses have a strong base in agriculture so it is important but we want to make sure that that can continue, that the productive capacity of this country isn't adversely affected. The event gave the opportunity for people to learn about fracking for gas and uh, food for thought and the dispensing of knowledge is most important because the general public tend to think uh, things just happen, they don't know anything about it. Well in this instance now the people on the file coast do know what's happening and they are concerned.